Hey everyone, it's easy. <clears throat> Welcome to the introduction of Clash of Clans Healer Walks. This video is about how to use the healers in an assortment of different what we call walks. Which a walk is when you use several healers behind uh, different troops. The healers will help keep the different troops alive during your attacks. Uh, we're going to go over how to use them in all these different attacks briefly. And also how to defend against them. You're going to have to defend against the healers as well as use them in your attacks. So, as you can see in this picture right here, you can use the healers behind a lot of different troops. Uh, the healer walk uh, is actually not really called the healer walk. It's actually called the queen walk or the pekka walk or the witch walk. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for them, but a walk is the, one of the most common names. It started off with the queen walk. It started off with the queen walk and people would use eight or nine or maybe ten healers behind the queen. And they called it the invincible queen for a little while because it was so hard to kill the queen when she had all these healers on it. And then that, that was, it was really uh, changing the whole meta of the game. And Supercell caught wind of that and they changed up the dynamic of the, of the healer and they made it to where... If you put 10 healers on on a troop it wouldn't do any more healing than if you put four or five on it so as it stands right now most people will put three sometimes four healers on a group of troops and that's about as effective as you're going to get now in this attack right here this is uh the flex done by flex and he was using two separate walks he was using the queen walk which which started off in the top right of this uh, of the screen and then he was also using a bowler walk now bowlers and the queen they're two of the best troops to use in tandem with the healers reason is is because of the range of their damage uh, of their attacks the queen has her her attack was with the crossbow and the bowlers throw the rocks and uh, they both have really long range and why that works so well is because the healers they stay back behind the troops and um, she's susceptible to the air defenses especially so as the troops were walking in front for the queen for example everything is going to target the queen she's going to absorb all the damage because the healers are going to keep her alive as she starts to lose health if she lose health too fast um at, you can put a, a rage spell on her or on the well really on the healers but you put it on her too so you just try to uh target both troops really the 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 archer queen and the healers and the Archer Queen will increase in power and start blasting on things. And then the healers will also start doubling and tripling their productivity and start healing her really well. And that can keep her alive through an amazing amount of damage. So that's how you can help keep her alive. And uh, so anyway, all these, all the defenses are shooting at the Queen. They're all targeting her because she's the first thing that comes into their range. And uh, they don't target the, the healers until after the Queen is out of, out of range. So... There are ways to align your defenses to where um, the queen cannot shoot at like a sh uh, the, the, wow tongue tied. Uh, the air defenses are are really the main um, defense. There's a, there there are ways you can back the air defenses away from the edges, uh, eight or nine tiles or eight. I, I forget exactly right now, which is kind of sad. Uh, seven or eight or nine tiles. Um, <laughs> wow. You know, I'm supposed to know this stuff. Anyway, so you back the air defenses off away from the edge, and that way the queen can't target the air defenses. She'll walk by the air defenses, and then, then the air defenses will target the healers. So that's how that's one way that you can help defend your base. So anyway, going back to the uh, how it works. So all the defenses are targeting the queen. They're all shooting at the queen. The healers are keeping her alive. And because she has such long range, she's able to eliminate all the defenses before... They actually are able to target the, the healers. So that's how the, the healer can live through the entire raid That's the idea behind it. That's the principle behind it. Now there are a, a plethora of other troops you can use in the walk style uh, For those of you just starting out you're gonna start off using the Giants with her You'll use Giants and you'll put the healers behind the Giants and uh, the healers will help keep the Giants alive the only problem with that is that the giants don't have any range they are the melee fighters that have to walk right up to the defenses and, and, and bust the defenses in the jaw but they're doing it from point blank range so if they're walking up to an air defense well the air defense is shooting over the giant at the healer so you have to be careful where you enter the base with the giants because if you enter the base right next to an air defense 
then the air defenses will take out the healers before the giants ever break through the wall and actually get to the air defense to try to take it out. Uh, it's the same way with the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. is another popular troop that people use with healers. But again, they have to walk right up to the defense and, and chop at it at point blank range. So you have to be really mindful of where you path the P.E.K.K.A. or where you path the Giants uh, to avoid the air defenses for as long as you can. Uh, other troops that work really well is the Witch. The Witch is a newer troop that, that we're using. Other, other uh, clans are using it. It's called the Witch Walk. And they're really effective. Uh, the, the healers can keep those witches alive. The witches keep on spawning all the all the uh, skeletons like crazy. And the the only downside to the witch walk is that they just don't do tons and tons of damage. So you may have four three witches left at an end of a raid, but they're just not busting through the base as much as you really like to, as much as the bowlers would or the queen would. The uh, the best two troops are definitely the queen and and the bowlers. Uh, f I, as you'll see more advanced players, they'll put the queen and the warden in together with the healers behind it. And that is that is the one-two punch that everyone is, does not want to see coming across their base. You see the warden and the queen together with healers behind them, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, oh, last thing. Uh, this is a kind of a long screen. So, last thing. To protect yourself from this, we have the black balloons, we have the red balloons. You have to place them kind of outside the walls and just hope that the queen they decide to put the queen and the healers in right there where you put all the all the black balloons together and you'll have three or four of them fairly close together and as the queen walks by them uh, the black balloons go up and hit the hit the healers the healers do trigger the balloons now that's changed over the past six months or so so that is one good way you can help defend against them also um, by setting your skeleton traps to air, that doesn't really work very well because the queen will just turn. If it's a, if it's a queen walk, the queen will just turn around and tag all the skeletons. So uh, defend defend with the black balloons. Um, that's the end of the video. Uh, healers, huge troop. For those of you new, use them all the time, especially for dark elixir. They don't cost dark elixir, so you can use them to try to get the dark elixir with those giants and wizards, so you don't have to use any dark elixir troops. So uh, end of the video. Appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Uh, sub to the channel, like the video. Yeah, this has been easy. Everyone, take care.